So far, we have created controllers, middleware, and even model validation, but we aren't storing any data. In this section, we are going to connect our API to a MySQL database and finally get a chance to test our endpoints and services. In this video, we will be using Docker to quickly boot up an instance of the MySQL database. So this is docker.com. This is where you can download the Docker Community Edition, which is completely free and allows you to work with Docker containers on your computer. Choose the appropriate operating system, whether you are on Windows or Mac. If you're running Linux, you will be better off searching for a guide on how to install Docker on Linux since the process is a bit more complex. I'm working on Windows, so I clicked on the appropriate button. You will most likely have to create an account or log in if you already have an account. You can see there are guidelines on how to install it, depending on the operating system you have selected. So I will go ahead and log in. And then on click on get Docker on this button right here. Run it after it's finished downloading. And in order to check if Docker is running, you can type something like Docker PS. This lists all of the running Docker containers right now. Obviously, we have no running containers, but the fact that we get back this empty response means that Docker successfully ran in the background. Now, in order to create an instance of a MySQL container, we will have to use docker run. Pass in a name for our container, let's call it subscription as a service. Then we can pass in an environmental variable, this is what the das e stands for, with the root password. And one very important step that we have to take is that we need to map the ports. Remember MySQL, its port, its default port is 3306, we're gonna map it to another port so that we can access it from outside the container. And I'm gonna use the DAS D option to detach the container from the current cell so that the container keeps running even after I close this power cell terminal. And then make sure to select MySQL with the appropriate version. We're gonna go with 5.7. So if I now do Docker PS, we can see that the container is up. Three seconds ago, it's running and we can successfully connect to it. In order to connect it, I'm gonna use MySQL Workbench to make sure that the database is up and running and we can connect it. If you can connect the database, it's most likely something with the network configuration and the port that you have exposed. I'm gonna add the password, remember it's one through nine, the default root password. And if I test the connection, it connects successfully. So one thing remains, we need to give it a name. Again, I'm gonna call it subscription as a service. Remember, the name I gave in the terminal is the name for the container, which is a whole mini operating system running MySQL. This is the name for the database connection in MySQL Workbench. And we also have to create the actual database, the one that we will connect to when we install an ORM in the next video. So as you can see, subscription as a service is there. And we can go ahead 